These new teeth are driving me insane. See what, what you're not aware of most of the time, your front teeth are normal. They're very thin compared to all the other teeth in your mouth. And we use yeah. the back of our front teeth to form a lot of words. And especially yeah. sounds like it, it, so, words that end in uh, EST, like test and best and um, teeth and all that other back of the, you, you, you move your tongue to the back of your teeth. The problem Which is why I had a list for a good portion of my childhood, because I knocked two front teeth out when I was three. The problem with getting these replaced is when they put crowns in. They can't be those little thin teeth like they used to be. They have to yeah. thicken them up. So there's, there's this little bump on the back of my uh, front teeth now. And my tongue is like, I know. my tongue is like, what, what the Nine. f is going on here? What is this? Sh I, 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 no, I don't like that. Cause it's, it's not even all that large, but it's just enough to throw off the way you've learned to talk your entire life yeah everything's like not where it's supposed to be but right. good for me I, good for me what i have to do for a living has nothing to do with talking yeah at least you don't have to worry about that so i'm 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 having to relearn how to hold my toothbrush because um one of the side effects of chemo is neuropathy. And my fingertips have gotten numb. And I mentioned that to them. And apparently the reason it took so long, they were like, well, we can prescribe things for that. One of the things they prescribe for is the antidepressant I'm already on, <laughs> which is why I've made it this far in without it being a problem, because some people have it much worse. But um, yeah, it, it gives you the dropsies. And like, I have to hold my toothbrush like like this now because if i hold it like this it just falls out of my mouth i'm hoping that's not permanent i'm hoping that goes away opening hoping opening flesh sucks yeah this is bullshit each week Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? Crazy. Oh boy, we go. I, 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 it's hard to express. Every week, it's just things are a little different in a little terrible way. It's So, uh, first off this week, are you aware of the secret menu? At McDonald's. Which one? Oh. Kind of. Like, I know every place has a secret menu, but they really don't. They don't. It, the secret menu is just you ask them to do some weird shit and they do it. Right. Because I used to work at Starbucks and people thought we had a secret menu. We did not. We had shit you people made up and put on the internet. Like the, the the one at I think was the one at McDonald's where they take the like a cheeseburger and the chicken patty and, and like a and, McChicken and a McFillet and whatnot. They put all the shit together and like, what's wrong with Why? you? Why? So yeah, that that's kind of a thing. Well, the thing is, um, the secret menu is optional, as you said. It's not really a thing. So probably um, pulling a gun to get something that's not on the menu is uh, is not going to work out too well. Why did she need to do that when she's already Storm from the X-Men? Those have got to be contacts. If they're not, that's amazing. Because <laughs> holy shit. Florida, yeah. Florida woman... Pulls gun in McDonald's drive through over item not on the menu. All right, let's get this here. Um, Quavi Young, 26, faces felony charge, Cocoa, Florida, 
A woman was arrested Thursday night at a McDonald's in Cocoa, accused of brandishing a gun in the drive-thru and pointing it at an employee due to an argument over a non-existent menu item. After David describes what responding officers were told by witnesses uh, arriving to find Kwame Young, 26, behind the wheel with a gun in her passenger seat, the weapon was identified as an M&P Shield 9mm with a drum magazine capable of holding up to 50 rounds. Neat! News 6 called the McDonald's on Saturday. Uh, we were informed Young allegedly demanded a, quote, cheeseburger bundle, a sort of combo similar to what can be done for McDoubles or McChickens, and refused an employee's offer to sell her a cheeseburger and an a la carte order of small fries instead. This occurred during the woman's second appearance in the drive through lane that day. Uh, the employee described how things were, quote, a little busy uh, during the first encounter with Young. The second time, the victim told police that Young pulled to the first drive through window after being told she couldn't be served a meal that wasn't on the menu. Once there, the victim asked Young what her problem was, to which Young brandished the pistol. See, that's some falling down shit. Yeah. That that. What's your problem? My problem. Oh, your problem is you yeah, have a gun. I usually like a double cheeseburger, not the McDouble, because that only has one slice of cheese. I like the double cheeseburger with the two slices of cheese, a small French fry, and maybe a soda, and that's not a combo. No. But I just live. I just live with that. Yeah. I just order those three things and then pay them the money and then eat them. That's how I deal with that problem. According to that, David, the victim then asked Young why she was so mad over a simple issue. Okay, this is do not try to talk when someone has a gun, a nine millimeter with a fifty round magazine. You don't talk them down. You just close that drive through window. Duck. Walk away. Fucking get down on the fucking floor. You do not get enough money at that job. I promise you. Victim asked Young why she was so mad. You are not her therapist. No. <laughs> Young pointed the gun at the victim, verbally threatening them as well before proceeding to the next window. The police arrived just to make it even better. They also learned Young did not have a valid driver's license. And faces charges of open carrying a weapon, only driving with a suspended license, and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon without intent to kill, the last charge being a felony. So this is just one of those issues. You're driving without a fucking license but you think yeah. oh i can wave a gun around this will work out fine what what the how did you think that like is well she thought she thought she was going to get her bundle she thought that they were going to be like oh shit we didn't know you were serious which to be honest if i was still in the industry that i might have been like you know what fine i'm gonna fuck yeah, yeah, but how does this stupid cheeseburger? How, how does this play out in their heads? Is it, is it like I oh. imagine with them be, being lifted on someone's shoulders in, a, in the middle of a cheering crowd? Like the fucking end of Weird Al and UHF, like shit, like that. What the, the, how does your brain work to not put the? Oh, and why? I really. Why are so many people pulling guns in the in the McDonald's? I don't know. like I'm not anti McDonald's. Right. I eat McDonald's, but I also appreciate the McDonald's is not. It's not worth gunplay. No, it's fucking McDonald's. Yeah. It's barely worth what it's you pay for it. Yeah. And I'm not just like like I said, I, I eat at McDonald's. I do. I'm not going to kill somebody if I order the double cheeseburger and they give me the McDouble. 
I'm going to shrug and say some bad words and eat my stupid McDouble. Like, if you're going to be waving a gun around someplace, Arby's is just down the road. They deserve it. They got curly fries there. <laughs> they got curly fries. That's worth it. <laughs> they got the one thing. <laughs> Uh, let's move on they got, to... They got curly fries. Let's move on to Maine. Oh, more fun with a Walmart. Of course there is. <sighs> Maine woman charged with fake threats against New Hampshire Walmart. Seabrook, New Hampshire. A woman from Maine is under arrest after police allege she called in fake threats at a Walmart in Seabrook. According to Seabrook police... Their officers received a report of a possible explosive device in the Walmart. Soon after, officers reported that someone called the police department directly, claiming a man in the store had a gun. Officers evacuated Walmart and nearby stores to search the store. Uh, state police did a bomb squad to sweep for explosives. Did not find any threats. Um... Around 4 p.m., police say they found the suspect behind the hoax threats in the Best Western Hotel in Seabrook. Megan Levitt, 38, of Alfred, Maine, has been charged with false reports as to explosives. False reports to law enforcement, blah, blah, blah. So they were able to track, identify Levitt as the suspect and track her down quickly because she made the calls on speakerphone on her way to shopping center in an Uber. Her driver heard her make the calls and subsequently alerted police. Girl. That's what's called a witness. But wait, it gets better. Do you want to know why she did it? Yes. Officers say she was coming to the complex because her boyfriend was about to be arrested at the Dick's Sporting Goods across from the Walmart for shoplifting. He was hiding in a changing room, talking to her before she made the calls. She made the calls in an effort to distract the police from arresting her significant other. <laughs> They deserve I mean, each other. Listen, up until the part where you did it on speakerphone in an Uber, not a bad plan. You're both fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, the stupid, stupid children they're going to have. Oh my I'm god. I'm a little surprised she didn't call and be like, hey, um, I heard that somebody was gonna shoot up the Walmart. Definitely not the dicks. The cops definitely all need to leave dicks and go to Walmart right now. Click. The fucking like the 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 thought that the Uber driver isn't gonna narc on you when you're yeah. calling it a bomb threat. You think, oh, no, they're going to be cool with it. They're chill. You probably didn't tip well enough for that level of service. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Uh, next up, this happened again. I should stop. I, I, I shouldn't be surprised. Why am I surprised ever? A few weeks ago, we had some dude decide... That a prime target, uh, no, no pun intended, for uh, vehicular theft was the Amazon van. Again. Milwaukee. It's probably good shit in there. It's funny. A stolen Amazon van was involved in a Milwaukee police chase Friday afternoon. 32 year old man was arrested. Um, 32 year old demanded the keys to the van from a delivery driver, got in and drove off. Officers later spotted the van more than three miles away, uh, tried to pull it over, but the man refused. <laughs> Go ahead and say it. <laughs> no. Go ahead and say it. You just gotta yell at me. 
I didn't know that was an option. I didn't know I could pull over. No. Okay. No, I don't wanna. I I I, I never. That's not an option. No. I didn't know they could do that. Can, can he? Can can he do? Can he do that? Uh. No. <laughs> Land in the channel says an Amazon can is going to have so many pee bottles in it. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Can you imagine this poor driver who has to call in and be? They're like, "Why are you down on your times? Where? where are, what's what the my, my van?" Got stolen, man. Well, that's coming out of your pay. Video showed the van drive over a boulevard near the Mitchell Park domes. And an officer throwing what appeared to be stop sticks, which, great. They're going to have to fuck up the van to get you out of it. The chase ended when the man stopped at a gas station parking lot and was arrested. Surveillance video showed at least 10 officers around the truck. Gas station uh, employee told Fox News the officers had their gun drawn. Well, that's not really unusual. That's sort of like a common state for the for the uh, the the wild North American yeah. police. They they kind of live like that. It's 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 sort yeah. of attached to their hand at some point. Just the, the it's, stuff. It's just their greeting. The stuff in an Amazon van is not gold. Think, think of what you've ordered from, I'm just going to, I'm not going to put it on screen, but I am just going to, just for the sake of, of, of being aware of this, what I've ordered from Amazon recently that may like I get, I get good shit from an ARGB splitter cable, black plastic stickers or, or yeah, black, black stickers, little dot stickers. Uh, Cause I was, I was fixing up a 200 millimeter fan. I needed a two inch little sticker. <laughs> um, Ryzen AMC, AMD Ryzen 7,000 C CPU guard. It's a little foam plastic thing you put around the CPU. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Um, soda stream bubbly drops. Uh, D three vitamin gummy vitamins. The uh, a universal office chair gas lift cylinder. That's what's in the, the Amazon van. That's what every... It's not like you're going I mean, in there. I mean, your house. Like, you think you're going I in order there. order fun stuff from Amazon. Yeah, you think, oh, there's, a, there's like a big screen TV in the van, and there's just like, no, there's a, a Skosh automotive car radio removal <laughs> pry tool kit. Well, see, that's handy for a guy who's already thieving. <laughs> I mean, Sanders says, I order pants and shoes off Amazon sometimes. Like, there's not gold in them there hills. It's an Amazon. This wig off Amazon. What? I got this wig off Amazon. And that matters to you, right? Okay. But imagine you've got a van. <laughs> That has like 12 of the fucking things. All the same one for someone who still has their hair. What the fuck are they going to do with that? Maybe is... someone ordered that 56 pound tub of lube. And if you steal the van, what are you going to, what the fuck are you doing with the 50 pound? What are you going to do with that shit? <laughs> Just saying, Amazon has some good stuff. It, yeah, but there's good I mean, context. You probably, you probably would have to open every box to really find something worth it. Yeah, it's 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 context. Fucking context is what matters. Now you're gonna go to jail for this shit. It's like, <laughs> why leave the Amazon truck alone? At least he got some free bottles of pee. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to New Jersey. This is this is just embarrassing. Do you have you ever heard of the whole sister city thing? Yeah. Where one I don't city, really get it. I don't get it either. One city will say, "Oh, this is our, our sister sister city." Now we have like a relation. I don't understand how that works, but as far as I can tell, it's the equivalent of being like BFFs in junior high. 
Like, what? you're just like, you're my best friend. Well, what would you do if your best friend was imaginary? Newark mayor signs deal with Hindu nation that does not exist. Mayor oh. and city council agree to partnership with Kalaza. Kalaza, I think. Uh, invented by Indian fugitive Swami Nithyanda. Um, city of Newark, New Jersey has confirmed it was duped over five days in January. And Mayor uh, Ras Baraka, Baraka invited what he believed to be a delegation from the Hindu nation of uh, Kalasa to join into a sister city partnership. Um, but it turned out Baraka was once featured on singer Lauren Hill's 1998 Penis Education of Lauren Hill. That's a little tidbit. And Newark <laughs> City Council were all being taken for a ride. Kalasa does not exist. Last week, Newark City Hall acknowledged it had been scammed by a notorious Indian fugitive. Agreement to twin with Colossa had lasted but six days after being dissolved as baseless and void. Here's the fun part. Uh, Shaky Merritt, a resident of Newark, later told CBS she was surprised that no one in City Hall, not one person, did a Google search. So maybe we need a transfer formation of City Hall because not one person said, let me go and Google and figure out this was a fake city. Search from Colossus. Not even, not even assuming it was fake, but like, wouldn't you want to do some basic research on your sister city for like the ceremony? Like, yeah, nobody, nobody Googled. A search for Colossa on Google Maps reveals some Hindu temples in the southern half of India and a link to a website promoting the nation as, quote, ancient enlightened civilization, the great cosmic borderless Hindu nation. Uh, and referred to uh, Nith Yanananda as, quote, the reviver. He's a scam artist. I do appreciate that he, say, he at least went through the effort of setting up the fake web page. Yeah. I mean, you got to appreciate when they take the time. We are, we are so proud to announce our sister city, Wakanda. <laughs> Dude, no. <laughs> no. 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 Uh -uh. It's, it's just not a, it's not a thing. And somebody in, in the fucking comments going, um, actually, Wakanda is a nation, not a city. I know. I know. I know. I, I fully expect that. We're going to get there. And I was actually, when I saw, when I saw Wakanda Forever, they talk about the capital city several times. And I remember sitting in the theater being like, could you give the capital city a name? Like, we couldn't brainstorm that right. well, and have somebody say it in the movie. Think about how Wakanda is compared to the rest of the world and think, yeah, we're just going to call that the city because compared to everybody it's else. One of those little tropes, it's one of those little tropes that drives me nuts. Like whenever there's a thing that takes place in space, every other planet has like one culture and one religion and everybody looks the same. And I'm like, really, really, really earth. Yeah. So, like, every time they're like, you know, Wakanda, I'm like, Wakanda ain't got any towns. There's not a suburb somewhere. Right. Just give it a name. Like, they specifically, they have Anderson Cooper say <laughs> the capital city of Wakanda. But he doesn't say a name. I find that mad. Bacon Dragon says, maybe it's Wakanda, Wakanda. Like New York, I mean, New York. Maybe that is possible. Oh uh, well, <laughs> here's a city that has a name, San Diego, and uh, they probably wish we weren't referring to them at all in this instance. <sighs> San Diego County deputy arrested for driving vehicle through gate of military base. They don't like it when you do that. San Diego County Sheriff's deputy has been arrested on suspicion of driving under the influence after he drove through the main gate of a military base Friday night without stopping. Sergeant Michael. And he didn't get shot? Sergeant Michael Cruz, who had been working for the Sheriff's Department since 2006, was off duty at the time of the incident. Cruz had been placed on administrative leave 
the uh, Coronado Police Department and Naval Crime Investigative Service, NCIS, has to investigate this Mark shit. Har- Mark Harmon is on that bitch. Mark Harmon and his stupid late season mustache are on that bitch. Wow, we- we- suddenly we have a whole new demographic here. Over 60s, welcome to the show. Now it's relevant to your <laughs> interests. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the nail was put on lockdown Friday after the vehicle went right through the facility's main gate without stopping. Um, drivers taken to custody by base guards after the gate runner drove without stopping the entrance of the Naval Air Station North Island. Um, multiple gates were closed while security personnel checked the facility. They don't. They don't fuck around with that. I my where my sister lives. There is I forget what branch of military base somewhere in the area. It's uh, like a dark winding road. I got turned around and I pulled in there by accident instead of the place I was supposed to be going and realized very quickly what I had done when a dude in fatigues comes out with his hand on his sidearm and approaches my window. And I was like, fuck me. (laughs) Like... (sighs) fucking gi joe comes up with the thing unclipped and he's like can i help you ma'am and i'm like i i made a wrong turn i would love to just turn around <laughs> can i and get the fuck now, out please? of your hair i'm ve- i'm very sorry i made a wrong turn i would love it if you could just let me out and he was like okay have a nice night how high like, how goddamn drunk do you have to be to pull this off just ask through the gate like it's just like uh, Pretty goddamn drunk. Yeah, but because I was aware of my my mis- I was aware of my mistake very quickly. Yeah, but I I have you ever had those meals ready to eat? They're real good. Oh my god. Oh my god! I want the freeze dried ash potatoes. Oh my god! <laughs> Busting on the gate for you know. Jesus Christ. We got one more this week. More cops. This one, get ready to be angry. You know, when we say all cops are bastards, um, we, we, yeah, that's a general all cops, but sometimes it's, it's a very specific group. You have to narrow it down just to, to focus your ire. These mother fuckers holy shit iron county sheriff's other department members uh, members accused of helping man in alleged parental kidnapping scheme Missouri highway patrol conducted the investigation and all of the men are now in washington county jail iron county missouri uh the iron county sheriff and two deputies have been charged with multiple crimes, including street gang activities, misusing 911, stalking, making a false report, looking up criminal records under false pretenses, and attempted kidnapping. According to the charging documents, they were helping Rick Gaston, an Iron County resident. Keep in mind, this guy didn't even work for them. Okay, He wasn't even a cop. There's Uh, with a scheme to kidnap Gadsden's children from their mother after a domestic dispute. This gets so fucking crazy. Missouri Highway Patrol is now assisting policing duties uh, in the county about 95 uh, miles south of St. Louis. Um, Let's see. According to charging documents, charged them from a domestic incident between Gadsden and the mother of his child. According to documents, he was physically aggressive with the woman. Court documents allege that uh, between February 10th and 11th, Burkett, Gaston, uh, Bren, Shannon, and Kozid tried to help Gaston. Bresnahan. What? Bresnahan? Bresnahan. Bresnahan. Thank you. Uh, Bresnahan. Tried to help Gaston kidnap his daughter following a domestic incident involving Gaston, the mother of the child. The men made a fake request for the detention and arrest of the mother of the child to the Washington County 911 Dispatch Center to help facilitate kidnapping the child. Men are also accused of uh, putting a fake stop and hold instruction on the child's mother's record, so if any police officer stopped her, she would be detained. 
Um, then accused of getting the mother and daughter's real-time location by fraudulently obtaining a ping from their cell phones. They used that information to go to a location in Jefferson County where they were seeking, uh, quote, refuge from uh, the father. This. Sheriff's accused of obtaining criminal history information under false pretense by telling 911 dispatchers the child's mother had kidnapped her daughter and was intoxicated and the child had been injured. <clears throat> so yeah, they're all under arrest. Like, just there's there's the lineup. They're all who about who you would ever, expect. If you've ever said to a woman, hmm. well, if that really happened, why didn't she report it to the cops? We they, have no reason to believe that they will help us. They, they are. We have reason to believe that they will help you. Seriously, they, they some random dude who lived in town went to the cops and like, hey, give me my daughter back. Okie dokie. We don't, we don't fucking trust the cops. They're more likely to help you get away with whatever awful shit you did to us than they are help us get rid of you. What the fuck? The entire department, they have to have the state police take over policing this town. The entire fucking department is shut down. All of the police, all of the police are going to jail. Is that one guy on oxygen? Um, maybe. And that one guy looks like he's on oxygen. That might be the guy who wanted his, uh, who wanted them to find his kids or kidnap his kids rather. It says Jeffrey Burkett. Oh, no, it's a different one. That motherfucker's on oxygen. The fuck? <laughs> I can, I, I, like, I, oh, we, Missouri. you, they fucked up so bad, they don't have police no more. The town does not have no police. They're all gone. Like, I love Dan's mama. Mm. She's a wonderful woman. Mm. She is the only reason I ever set foot in the state of Missouri. Because I go to visit her. But uh, if she wanted to, like, move, <laughs> I would support that. So I wouldn't have to go to Missouri anymore. Because just straight up, the, the, the audacity is only matched by the fact that this is not the first time they've done some shit like this. This oh, was yeah. This was just the first time they made a big enough of a thing to get the entire police department shut down. Or rather, sheriff's department. Forgive me, someone in the comments are going, actually, they're not the, the police, the sheriff's department. Fuck it's you! Different. Fine. But this is why when you do some shady shit to us at a party that we know is illegal, we don't go to the cops. Because yeah. it won't matter. Fuck the entire fucking department. And look, that, that's just... Oh, wow. Why does that dude... The, the dude... Are, have you ever seen Super Troopers? No. Because the dude on the far right has the guy's haircut and facial hair. Fucking Farva <laughs> from fucking Super Troopers. He's got the I exact mean, same I look. Mean, all four of them are definitely white men from Missouri. They, yeah. If you ask me to sketch four white men from Missouri, the only thing missing from that picture would be a MAGA hat. Oh, my God. Macy Ute is the sheriff's assistant. assistant. Quote, he's a great guy. He wouldn't do anything that would jeopardize him in his job. Macy, run. Run. Mm. Definitely skeptical of the integrity of the place at this point, said resident Summer. Per Are you Summer? <laughs> Are you skeptical? Do you think they might be just a smidge corrupt, Summer? Run. Run. What have we, what have we learned this week? Well... You can, in fact, fuck up so badly, your town no longer has police. How the fuck? I mean, progress? <laughs> Accidental progress? 
We've also learned you can get so drunk that you will have no compunctions about driving your way onto a military base through a gate. You shouldn't get that drunk. Like what, what? Although our military, our military has much more strict rules about when they're allowed to shoot than like the police. Yeah. So you'll probably survive it because they actually have rules about that. I'm just trying to. Which is crazy. I'm trying to figure out if it was tequila or mezcal. That's all I, I'm trying. You know. <laughs> um, we've learned that uh, maybe if you're going to be a partner city with another city, um, Google that shit. Should we make sure they exist? Run some names through the system to see if you come up with anything. We've learned that uh, stealing the Amazon van is not a jackpot. That it's kind of like a scratcher from the from the fucking Seven Eleven. I'm saying it could be a jackpot. Just because you buy boring stuff doesn't mean everybody buys boring stuff. We've learned that, honey, if you're having to call in a bomb threat for him, find somebody better for you. You could probably do better. You could do better. Although you don't sound that bright. No, no. I mean, your boyfriend <laughs> is in a Dick's shopping store. He's in the dressing room of a Dick's sporting goods. Calling Maybe you. Maybe deserve each other. Yeah. I mean, I soulmates don't really believe in as a thing but maybe just maybe maybe and finally we've learned if someone is pulling a gun at you at the mcdonald's don't try to you know give them free psychoanalysts an analysis don't fucking try and help them drop you probably don't even get health care at that job drop your ass that crazy the person shoots you play. That crazy person shoots you? McDonald's ain't even gonna pay for your ambulance, dude. I have never in my life seen a 9mm with a 50-round drum mag. I don't even know how that fucking works. That does seem excessive. A bit! Who's driving around with that shit? Some lady who really wants a cheeseburger bundle. I... And doesn't know she can control the weather. 